let's see how we can create name credentials so let's assume that we have two salesforce args so this is uh, one salesforce arg and then i'm going to have one more salesforce arg here so we it, this can be anything so this can be any application for but we are using the two applications two salesforce args to connect between these two systems so here we are going to define a connected app and then here we are going to define auth provider authorization provider as well as name credentials so then after that so they both are get linked to this two systems so whenever there is a request goes through from this system user doesn't have to log in automatically the data will be uh, if we configure the rest api uh, then we can call the rest api from this uh, org to this org so i will define this as org1 and let's call it as org2 so to do that first let's do this one so first let's configure org2 or connected app in org2 So let's go to login.salesforce.com. So I'm going to use this. Uh, then So let's log in. This is a where we are dealing with the org two, where we are trying to configure connected app. So go to apps. I scroll down all the way to the connected app and click new. I will just say app name app So click on the enable OAuth settings so here we are going to configure the OAuth settings So for now you can specify local host and select all the scopes which you want to provide for now i will select all of them and then click save continue so once we do that now we uh, we try we configure the connected app here now here we are going to in org1 we are going to configure authorization provider and then as well as the next one name credentials so let's go to um, here this is a org1 so they have another org1 so let's go to the click on the go to setup and click go to auth and click on the authorization providers and click new So here you can you have to select the Salesforce, select Salesforce because we are trying to the org two is the Salesforce, so we are we are giving the provider name as the Salesforce. So now I will say org two consumer key. So consumer key now we if we go to the connected app here you are going to see the uh, in the org two you are going to see the connected app. So click on take the consumer key from the connected app. copy and go and paste it in the org1 so next go to org2 again and then click get the consumer secret so go to org1 and give the secret and then and then 
you can click on save so once you save that so you are going to see the callback URL take this callback URL copy the callback URL from arc1 and go to arc2 and click edit and update the callback URL with, with the one which you copied from the org1 then now go ahead and save it so whenever you make any modifications so it's going to take you have to leave it for 2 to 10 minutes to take effect and then now once that is done now go and we are going to give the name credentials now so if you go to whiteboard so we created the authorization provider now we are going to provide the create the name credentials so let's go and create the name credentials in arc1 so if you go click on the name credentials click new name credentials so we can say arc1 so let's say velocity uh, URL you for uh, name credentials you so this is the org1 URL Salesforce URL provide the org1 Salesforce URL then here identity type is um, you can say per user Provide name principal and then what to so per user means you know per each user has to uh, authenticate so for uh, in our scenario only one user we are going to provide that is going to be the integration user we are going to use so we'll provide it as name principal and then authorization provider the one which we we are going to select the one which we created so there is a arc two one and then so now we can select the start authentication flow on save so this is going to trigger the login process so now if you click on that save you should see a pop-up screen but you know somehow we are seeing this invalid message because maybe we have to wait for two to ten minutes to take effect the connected app uh, changes so let's wait for 10 minutes and then uh, uh, we'll try it again so now uh, let's go back to the na our name credential configured so click on that back so you still see that authentication scope is still pending so what you have to do is now we have to connect between these two arcs so click on edit and then so save again now we have to system should take you to the login screen so this is what the or arc 1 and this is what the arc 2 so now we are trying to authenticate the arc 2 here so once we do that so it's going to ask you to give permission so you, you say allow So here if you check the name credentials now so authentication provided um, did not provide the refresh token so next you, you won't be able to access this name credentials okay so I think you know we have some configuration thing we have to do one second let me check on that so another mistake I made I did not put the refresh underscore token to full so that it gives the token refresh access to so click on save then it's going to ask you to authenticate to arc2 so once we do that so it's going to ask what are the permissions we have to provide based on the connected app 
you know if we look go to the arc 2 um uh, you can you should see that one so uh, for now you know let's leave it there and allow for now so once we authenticate that now we should see something it says like authenticated as or oh, that particular username so this is now arc 1 and arc 2 are connected with the name credentials so that's how we configure the name credentials and then authorization provider and also the connected app in the arc 2